Howdy, folks. Welcome to the show tonight. My name is Andy Hedges, and I'll be your host for the evening. Um, the title of the show tonight is, I think, Music North and South, and we got two fantastic bands that um, represent that, and um, it's going to be a fun time. I'd like to remind you to turn your cell phones off, although I think these um, two groups are loud enough, it's really not a big deal, but, you know, <laughs> you may as well stay in the habit for the rest of the weekend. And I um, also wanted to mention that the um, folks from YouTube are here tonight. <laughs> now, um, this is being filmed and streamed live on YouTube, so for those of you out there watching, um, welcome and enjoy. And we'd like to thank our um, sponsor tonight, Barrick Gold. Give them a hand, otherwise we wouldn't be here. All right, we're gonna start from the north um, end of things tonight. There's been about three or four people this weekend walk up to me and call me Corb. And um, I don't think me and him look that much alike, but I think maybe it's just we're about two of three or four guys in town that are under 60 years old. <laughs> and then uh, I went to the radio station yesterday and the gal there, um, Lori, who was um, very nice and did a great job, she also thought I was Corb when I showed up and I told her, well, I don't mind, I'm just glad you didn't mistake me for someone else like maybe Sourdough Slim or something. <laughs> But um, Corb's a great guy, and um, we've kind of become buddies the last few years, and he um, tours all over, and he comes through Lubbock, Texas, where I'm from. And, um, you know, I think the great thing about these guys coming to Elko is this may be the only cowboy gathering that they actually play, but he's out playing in bars, playing for young crowds, and uh, playing cool music festivals, and he does the same music here that he does everywhere else. He's singing and writing about the West, and he's a hell of a songwriter, and he's got a rocking band, and I'm a huge fan and really excited they're here from Alberta, Canada, Corb Lund and the Hurtin' Albertans. Especially pain Whenever I see horses It reminds me of what I ain't well, I am not your lover now And I may never be But with a couple of pinto ponies How things go we'll have to see Cause the hitch stops side to the rail right now When the silver jangles free The saddle back to snub right down Sugar right away with me Something about horses Especially a pain Whenever I see horses, I see a sadness in their face. It's too late to see the bison herds dump disappear so soon. Thank you. How you doing, Nevada? It's my little foothills heaven on that northern rocky range My favorite place to be and mister that ain't gonna change 
And I pray to old Chief Mountain I'll get back again someday I'm Just in time for you to hear me say It's my little foot is heaven on that northern rocky rain And I hope that I'll be back again someday But you can see now to Montana on a clear and sunny day And I may just ride down there with my honey for the day When there's trouble at the border I'll say hey well that's okay Cause I'd just as soon get back home anyway To my little foot here's heaven on that northern rocky rain And I hope that I'll get back again someday There's a bar X on the river that every girl you can see And their coats so slick and shiny in the sun just like you please As they graze up to one for holler you can almost hear them now Saying it don't get much better for a cow Than the little foot here's heaven on that northern rocky rain And I hope but I'll get back again someday Buddy Grant Siemens on the lap steel guitar, everybody. Well, my mama's daddy's daddy picked the spot and picked it well. When I'm tired of all this rock and roll and beating me to hell. Way out on the back quarter, there's a cabin waiting there. Where my little gal and I can keep the world out of our hair. It's my little foot, here's heaven on that northern rocky range. My favorite place to be in this stuff that ain't gonna change. And I pray to old Chief Mountain I'll get back again someday Just in time for you to hear me say It's my little foot, here's heaven on that northern rocky range And I hope that I'll get back again someday Okay, how's your weekend been so far? Just getting warmed up, right? We're playing the we're playing the late night uh, crazy dance tomorrow at midnight, so make sure you come and get all wound up and come to that with us. This is a song, an old song actually, about uh, about getting advice from your grandfather when you're bouncing around in the cab of the pickup and it's 35 below zero and you're looking for that lost heifer that you will never ever find. It's called "Always Keep an Edge in Your Knife, Son." Yeah. Always keep an edge in your knife. Never put your head on the bed, son, never put your head on the bed. Cause if your hat's on the bed, you might wake up dead, so don't you never put your hat on the bed. And if you do, be sure it's upside down, son, if you do, be sure it's upside down. Cause if there's any doubt, it keeps the luck from running out, too, if you do, be sure it's upside down. Never throw a match when it's dry, son, never throw a match when it's dry. Don't you never throw a match, cause the grass might catch and burn three counties when it's dry. Always keep an edge on your knife, son. Always keep an edge on your knife. Cause a good sharp edge is a man's best hedge against the vague uncertainties of life. Yes, a good sharp edge is a man's best hedge against the uncertain vagaries of life. But I never could sharpen no blade quite the way he say. You're the lay, you're the lay, you're the lay. Never sell the old 22, son. Never sell the old 22. Cause the old 22 shot a go for or two, so don't you never sell old 22. Aim a two to left a little low, son. Aim a two to left a little low. Cause the old right side's fly high and to the right, so aim a two to left a little low. Always tip the glass when you pour, son. Always tip the glass when you pour. Cause if you don't tip the glass, then the former comes fast and runs from the table to the floor. Always keep an edge on your knife, son. Always keep an edge on your knife. Because a good sharp edge is a man's best hedge against the vague uncertainties of life. Yes, a good sharp edge is a man's best hedge against the uncertain vagaries of life. But I never could sharpen no knife 
I'm like the one who give advice. You're the Away dry, son. Always put your horse away dry. Because a hot, wet horse ain't healthy, of course. So always put your horse away dry. Be sure to thaw the bit when it's cold, son. Be sure to thaw the bit when it's cold. Cause if you don't thaw the bit, then your pony's tongue sticks to the frozen metal bridle when it's cold. Always keep an edge on your knife, son. Always keep an edge on your knife. Because a good sharp edge is a man's best hedge against the big uncertainties of life. Is a good sharp edge is a man's best hedge against the uncertain beggaries of life. But I never could sharpen no knife like the one who gives the advice. You're the lady, you're the lady, you're the No, I never could sharpen no blade quite the way he say. You're the lady, you're the lady, you're the Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Well, we uh, we have a pretty new record. It's pretty pretty new. It's about four months old. It's called Cabin Fever, and it's our seventh it's our seventh record. And uh, a lot of American people don't know that we have seven records. They think it's our first record. So we're, we're on a bunch of new new artist lists, which is pretty funny. We're the oldest newest artists around, but that's okay. This is a, this is a song from the new record. It's about uh, you know. Spending all of your time and all of your money looking after cattle and being broke and busy and having a big pain in your ass because of it and still needing to have a few head on the place to feel right about the world. This is from my dad and my grandpa and my uncles. It's called Everything is Better with Some Cows Around. It goes like this. Tour de force. in town sometimes brings me down let me bestow this western blessing and share what i have found may you always have cows around what else you're gonna spend that extra money on what else is gonna get you up hours before dawn what else is gonna keep you toiling on and on and on Come on, you know that you got too much time on your hands And not nearly enough complication There's bull breed the heifers that you prize May you always have cows around What else is gonna get out when you don't close the gate? What else will make you prematurely show your age? What else will take a run at you in a fit of bovine rage? May you always have cows around Living in town sometimes brings me down Let me bestow this western blessing and leave you Saddle bound, may you always have cows around Alright Nevada, I know what you're thinking It's Friday night, you've had a couple of beers You're sitting in this nice theater in a plush seat and there's some Canadian guy singing to you about cows. And he's dressed up like the guy in, the cowboy guy in Toy Story. Thanks, Andy, I appreciate that. You're thinking, yeah, but what kind of cows? Well, there's Herford, Hallett, Simmental, Welsh, Black, and Maine, and Jew. Keenan, a limousine, Shorthorn, Charley, what to the two? Texas, Longhorn, Cory, and Roman, Yola, Galloway, and Angus, Brom, Brangus, Jersey, Gertie, Holstein. Hey! Gas. You might 
might have had to turn the place into an exotic game ranch You might have had to do all kinds of things to raise the cash So you'd always have cows around How else you gonna lose it all like great granddaddy did? What else to make sure you leave nothing to your kids? Well it's too late now, you know it is, you might as well admit That you've a badly flawed in Sentimental, masochistic -ness. And that despite all the statistics and the advice that you get You will always have cows around Yes sir, well, everything is better with some cows around Living in town sometimes brings me down Let me bestow this western blessing and leave you I sing that song in Toronto and they just stare at me blankly. <laughs> they think it's pretty catchy, but I don't really understand. <laughs> this is an old one. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to play a different song. We're going to get the mandolin out for a second. This one's, for, uh, this one's for Andy. Do you guys know Andy Hedges and his poetry, his recitals? <laughs> Him and his other buddy Andy have a good poem called... Uh, the Motherload Aquifer, which is one of my favorite poems that I've ever heard. Uh, it's a long one, but it's worth the nine minutes, so look him up and, and read it or listen to it on YouTube. Um, this is for him. This is about uh, being a landowner. But this is my prairie. And this is my home Don't make me stand here And I'll die alone well, They can drill and they can mine All my smoldering bones and This is my prairie and this is my home My water's poison, my calves are all dead My children are sick, and the aquifer's bled They want a big pipeline right through Pops Grove But this is my prairie, and this is my home Well, I can't blame the rivers or the boys driving truck for feeding their families and making a buck. But take a close look at the stock that you own. Cause this is my prairie and this is my home. Well, I ain't got the money the lawyers can buy I don't got my own government's laws on my side But I got this old rifle that my granddaddy owned and This is my prayer, this is my home This is my prairie, 
And this is my home And I'll make the stand here And I'll die alone They can drill and they can mine All my moldering bones and This is my prairie This is my home Thank you. Well, I want to be in the cavalry if they send me off to war. Well, I want a good steed under me like my forefathers before. I want a good man when the bugle sounds and I hear the cannons roar. Well, I want to be in the cavalry if they send me off to war Well, I want a horse in the volunteer force that's riding for their dawn Please save for me some gallantry, no let go when I'm gone They have you saw to me lead in charge of the battle lines of drum Let me at least leave a good beat to remember loud and long Well, I'm not a good foot soldier, make every siren slow and march And I'd be sick on a navy ship and the sea would leave me parched but I'll be first in line if they let me ride back I can see my start I look back for the heat with the laurel wreath Underneath that victory arch Well, I want to be in the cavalry If they send me up to war Well, I want a good steed under me Like my forefathers before I want to have them play their flutes And stir up my boots and place them back to front Cause I won't be back on the rattle is black And I'm finished in my hunt well, I want to be in the cavalry if they send me off to war Well, I want to be in the cavalry, but I won't ride home no Years ago, I wrote a, an album, and most of it was uh, military history songs. This was this was one that's about uh, the history of the, the cavalryman, the history of the horse soldier from uh, from Chinggis Khan to the Northwest Mounted Police. For all you history nerds, right there with you. I'm a hussar, I'm a hun, I'm a wretched Englishman, routing Bonaparte at Waterloo. I'm a dragon on a dun, I'm a Cossack on the run, I'm a horse soldier, timeless through and through. Well, I was Custer in the seventh, 76 or 77, scalped that little bighorn by the soup. And the tears and desperation of a once proud warrior nation, this I know, cause I was riding with them too. I drank mare's blood on the run when I rode with the great Khan On the frozen Mongol step while at his height As a white guard, as a red guard, as a czar's own palace horse guard When Romanov was murdered in the night Well I knew Salah I didn't and rode his swift Arabians Harassing doomed crusaders on their heavy drafts and yet I rode the Persian against the circling Muhammad Dawn And once again against myself was cast I'm a Hussar, I'm a Hun, I'm a wretched Englishman Riding one at Port at Waterloo I'm a dragon on a dun, I'm a Cossack on the run I'm a horse soldier, time is through and through is crimson and if you're silent and you listen you'll know that it was with them that I stood when Mary thought she cried as the four horsemen died gunned down the scarlet coldest blood I was the firstest with the mostest when I fought for Bedford Forest so 
for General Wilson's Union Raid. But mine was not the reason why mine was but to do or die at Crimea with the charging light brigade. There were Aussies at Beersheba, took the well so badly needed. The Polish lancers charging Nazi tanks. I saw Ross's mount shot down in Washington The night we burned the White House down And cursed the sack of York the sons of Yanks I'm a hussar, I'm a hun, I'm a wretched Englishman Riding Bonaparte at Waterloo I'm a dragon on a dun I'm a Cossack on the run I'm a horse soldier, timeless through and through Trenches lumber, more modern machinations of the war. No match for rapid fire or oh, the steel birds in the sky. In the final rear guard action, I retreat. No match for tangled wire or the armored engine's whine. Reluctant. I retire and take my leave Today I ride with special forces On them wily Afghan horses The storms Northern Alliance send their thanks And no matter defeat or victory in battle It occurs to me that we may see a swelling in our ranks I'm a Hussar, I'm a Hun, I'm a wretched Englishman Riding Bonaparte at Waterloo I'm a dragon on a dun I'm a Cossack on the run I'm a horse soldier, time is through it I'm a horse soldier, eternal through it hey. We'd come back home in the summers and he, he'd go down to Montana and uh, sort of article, I guess, or, or, or work with, uh, with Rib Gustafson, who is a, a friend of the family. He's a veterinarian also, and he sort of mentored Dad, as, as I understand it, as a, as a vet. And uh, he used to ride Bronx down there in the summer, too, on the weekends, and ride bareback. And uh, Eric Gustafson, uh, Rib's son, who's uh, Eric is Wiley's brother from the Wild West, um, they've been telling me for three or four years that Dad left, over one, left one of his old uh, uh, bareback riggings in, in Conrad at their place. And, I thought they were lying to me, but they finally brought it to me. It's really meaningful because, yeah. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate it very much. And it's, it's especially meaningful because Dad's, a, Dad's had a, a few rough years. He's not really himself anymore. He's had some dementia problems, and he's, he's at home in Tabor. He's doing okay, but he's not who he used to be. So this is very meaningful. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. This is for, uh, this is for the Gustafsons and for, for Dad. His name is DC Lund. This is for him. He's been hung up and stepped on, outdrawed and reduced to tears. He's done his best thing. With his hand in the rigging for years He's got an old trophy saddle He won back in 75 He's getting too old to travel He's lucky he's even alive He's a bucking horse rider and he likes them a little wilder than most. And you can tell just by looking, though he'd be the last one to boast. And 
Unless he'd been drinking But hell, he's been dry now for months Though he'd be the last one to boast Unless he'd been drinking But hell, he's been dry now for months He's a bucking horse rider He won up at Calgary once yeah, He's a bucking horse rider He drank all the Pendleton once Thank you there wasn't much to hold on to back then, eh? <laughs> this is really neat for me. It's like getting a piece of my dad back. So thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for looking after this for 25 years or 30 years. Well, we got time for one more song, and then our friends from Texas are going to come here and kick your butt. <laughs> uh, we're going to play an Ian Tyson song since he's not here this year. And uh, I'm happy to tell you that at 79, I think he's 79, 79-ish, uh, he's, uh, he's very happy. He just had by the time that old rock on sun goes down this outfit, history with this outfit, your history. William C. Crew, they rode them all, and the people all gathered round, and one old boy paid two grand. For banjo. Oh, well, banjo kicked his trailer apart when they tried to load him up for town. Back in August, 100 head or more. Well, if you ever have a beer at the 8L store, say hi to Chuck and Annie. I'll show you them big old steers up there hanging. And when you ask where have they gone, hell they're gone like the MC Cabin. Back in August, a 100 head of mold. Dig into the real stuff, you'll find out that there are influences and connections with pretty much every realm of American music. And um, if you understand that, it makes perfect sense to have a Tex-Mex Cajunto band here at the Cowboy Poetry Gathering. And um, that's exactly what we have tonight. And I was just um, visiting with these guys backstage and they've done four um, tours of Iraq playing for the troops. And um, yeah, give them a hand for that. They're also Grammy Award winners. So besides being super nice, good-hearted guys, um, they're famous. And we're really, really blessed to have them um, here in Ilko. I also got to sit and just listen to them jamming for a few minutes. And they were just absolutely a pure pleasure to listen to. And I think you guys are just going to enjoy the heck out of them. I don't know if they're ready quite yet. Are we still changing out some microphones? All right, please make, make them welcome uh, Max Baca and the Los Tex Maniacs from San Antonio, Texas. Te 
riego en mi mente Esperando de ti una esperanza Y a mis brazos te esperan con ansias De llevarte conmigo al altar ¡Oye!
the leader of Los Tex Maniacs. Gracias, thank you. We got some CDs uh, on sale, and we're going to be signing autographs afterwards. And uh, if you'd like to buy a CD, you can buy one for your neighbor if you want. It's fine. Uh, it's not that we need the money. It's the people we owe. <laughs> you know, this music we're playing, it's uh, called Tex-Mex Conjunto. Uh, this music... Uh, Deri thank you. Derived around the turn of the century when the German settlers settled in the Texas area. And we'll explain a little bit more about it. But like right now, we're going to feature my nephew, Josh Baca, on the squeeze box. How about that, huh? Josh Bach on the squeeze box. Yeah, like I said, uh, this music, Tex Mex Conjunto, came around around the turn of the century when the uh, German settlers settled in the Texas area, and along with the Czechs, and, and the, uh, brought their accordions. And uh, there was a guy by the name of Narciso Martinez, was probably. <laughs> But that's the way they did it back then, you know, no drums, no bass, just bajo and accordion, man. Yeah. So uh, then later on, there was a guy by the name of Santiago Jimenez Sr., Flaco Jimenez's daddy, and uh, was credited with actual adding lyrics and singing, because back then it was just, they would just play polkas and shadishes and waltzes and barsurkas and stuff like that, redovas. So uh, Santiago actually added the lyrics along with a guy named uh, Valerio Longoria. And uh, this next song we want to dedicate to each and every one of you here tonight. We also want to dedicate it to our uh, men and women in uniform. We got the honor to do four tours to Iraq during the war. Uh, thank you to entertain the troops. 
So going out to all our veterans out there, okay? This beautiful... Que lejos estoy del suelo donde he nacido. Tierra del sol, suspiro por verte, y ahora que lejos, yo vivo sin luz, sin amor. Y al verme tan solo y triste, cual hoja al viento, quisiera llorar, quisiera morir de ser. About what I did last summer. Well, you're under duress, the place is a mess The grizzly got into the old grain bin last night When you slept, now there ain't much left So you call the warden in, he tells you with a grin You got to file the proper paperwork before you set a trap Just buck up and huck it if the bear comes back You're the bear. steel guitar. All right, second verse here. To the one. Well, now the cows are out up on Highway 89. Someone left the gate open for the second time. Well, it's 5 a.m. The telephone rings. It's your neighbor to the west just awakened from a dream. Says the steer you've been missing for the last three years. Is now grazing in his garden, nibbling on the ears of his grand prize corn. He starts in the bitching. I said, Buck up and hug it, bub. Your fence needs fixing.
Thank you guys so much, man. They said uh, they want us to do one more. Is that okay with you all? All right. All right, here's a little Mexican hat dance for you. Squeeze box. Give it up for my nephew Josh Baca. 